welcome to another exciting edition of Shore Yacker TV, where it rains all the time. <laughs> Garbage anymore. If we don't catch fish, that's Dude. the guy. That's Dude. the one that did it. First off, Noah's flood was last night. Yeah, okay? it, it, it floated to the dock today. It does look pretty epic, dude. We're we're overcast and it's blowing out. I see patch of blue. Yeah. The water's calm as calm can be. The wind might actually help us cooperate. Hurt us. Yeah. It's feeling like that kind of day. You know, you just get that feeling. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in. Dude, come on. No, it's going. You see, I'm employed by this guy, so I really can't argue with him. He's like, dude, you make great on the video. You act like an idiot. So one more possibility today that we might be doing is, uh, whoa, crashing. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, pay attention to your surroundings, evidently. Oh, it's a bait in here. This is one of our favorite places to fish. The water is super, super skinny, absolutely loaded with bait, and full of redfish. The water is a little bit dingy from all the rain, but thankfully the redfish really don't mind too much. We watched this fish swim around for about 15 minutes before we actually laid into him. Yeah. 
21 and a half. Guys, this is where our problems really started. The wind picked up, my kayak got stuck in the mud. It was just a big pain in the butt. And then this happened. to one of our subscribers. His name is Will. He's new to the area, but he knows these Hello. waters pretty well. No. <laughs> I'm throwing a bait in the water three times. Really? Yeah. He's just exploring? Yeah, well, I've been trying to catch some bait. Oh, okay. Well, we've got some mud minnows if you want some. Huh? You want some mud minnows? I got some. I got a bunch of shrimp. Oh, okay. Cool. I found a bunch in there. Cool deal. I don't know how I passed them. Yeah, uh, there's there's three poles, there's three uh, pylons back there, and uh, there's a creek back there. It's got it's got one Y, and it's really really skinny to the left, and we take that back till till it Ys again. And there's a uh, there's a big oyster wall that basically blocks the creek until the tide starts moving real good. Is it that first creek off the ICW? Mm -mm. Second one. Maybe? I want to say it's like the second or third. It's literally right around the corner. You'll see the three pylons with that creek. The first video that we did, uh, dude, we slayed them. We probably caught. There were fish that didn't make the cut. <laughs> we were catching so many fish. We caught probably 50. What do you say? 50, 60 fish couple. But wow. uh, and that and that was one day. Uh, today there were a bunch of reds in there, but they were just not wanting to hit too much. I got the, I got this one back over here. I didn't want to keep him, but he swallowed that hook so bad. Yeah, that, that one there. Oh yeah. Um, but there was one that, geez, it was uh, he's easy thirty incher, and I mean he banged the bottom of my boat something fierce. <laughs> so. Give me a good start. Was that a PA-12? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just got it a couple weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had a 14. It was a hog. Yeah, my uncle just bought a 14. So. As hard as we fished for the next couple hours, this was the only other fish we caught. Will caught him. It was a nice 21-inch trout. Good job, brother. Looking forward to fishing with you in the fall.